Hey everybody, I'm Amy from Body Fit by Amy and this is your single weight sweat workout. This is day 17 of your sweat challenge. In this workout, we will work the entire body for strength, for cardio and mobility using a single weight. You can use dumbbells or kettlebells. I will be alternating between the two, but you use what you have available to you. I will give you lots of options. We'll be starting back to basics. We will build to some compound moves, but you will be able to work to your fitness level. All you need for this workout is a weight and a mat. Are you ready? Let's do it. Let's start just getting ourselves warmed up. Go ahead and march or jog and just get some rolls through the shoulders. We're gonna do a quick dynamic warm up mostly to get the blood flowing and get our bodies moving in the movement patterns that we're gonna be working today. But of course, if you need more of a warm up, please get it on your own. Same goes for the cool down. You can check the links in the description below of my extended warm up and extended cool down videos. We will keep it short so we can try to keep the workout short, right? Let's take it out right here, big arm swings. Let's step into it, side lunge, step it out just like that. We are going to get it done with just one weight today. I'm gonna to be using mostly my dumbbells. Let's reach it up and hinge it down. So you can reach up to the ceiling, or if you want, pull down in the back, big squeeze, reach and hinge. Pull down, you can do a little hyperextension of the back if that feels okay for you, but if not, stay right here. So I will use the kettlebell for some of it. You use what is best for you. I'm gonna encourage you. Let's squat it down right here. Squat and up, hands behind the head. Encourage you to try going heavy. And then as we put some things together, go lighter if you need to. Let's add a knee across. Down and knee, down and knee. One more. Good, turn it right here. We're gonna open up the hips, pull it back and hold it here. I want you to reach that arm over. If you need a little balance, grab on the wall if you can, and then drop that knee, opening up that hip flexor, getting as low as is comfortable for you. Take it down if you can, walk that front, hit up, front foot out, reach that arm up. If that's not right for you, you stay up top. You can even drop that knee down. And then if you can, walk it back to the plank. You can also take it to knees or stay standing. Let's go a little forward and back to get the core warmed up and ready to go. Press up little down dog, back to center. Press it up, back to center, one more. And let's get a big step right here. So if you're standing, I just want you to switch your legs, but if you can, take that top arm first. We'll work our way back up this way. And then slowly bring it up, drop the knee. Woo! I already get my heart rate up, right? And then stretch it over. Step it in right here, take it flat back down. Round it up, tap and reach across. All right, getting that heart rate up. Little cardio to start us off. Cardio warm up, cardio mobility. We'll come back to these in between. You know I like to sneak in the mobility in between rounds so we get that little stretch, but also let's bring those hamstrings up. We keep the heart pumping. All right, so here's what we got. We have some circuits where we start with one thing. We have three rounds of 30 seconds. We start back to basics, we add on, we add on. You can always stick with your first level. Let's take it right here. Then we will put some things together for a 45 second or two 45 second rounds, depending on right or left. Because it is single weight, we'll be doing a lot of unilateral, meaning one side at a time. All right, so couple rounds where we go 30 seconds, 30 seconds, 30 seconds, tap it out, building in intensity, and then a couple rounds of 45 seconds where we compound, put some things together. I will give you options the entire time. Grab one heavy weight, heavy to medium. We're gonna start with a little plie squat right here. We're gonna squat, press out, in and up. So I want you to zip up that core, pack those shoulders, drop it down, 30 seconds. Here we go, step out in and down. I want you to watch my shoulders and my elbows squeeze. So we're working a lot of shoulders, chest, and arms, but I want you to also pull those elbows back to get your back muscles working, right? Almost like a standing row. 
Squeeze it up and in, down, and also squeeze up inner thighs, quads, hamstrings, glutes. Now we're gonna take it to a little steering wheel. Watch me, down, out, twist, bring it up, down, drive your car. You can keep it here, bringing it in between, or if you really wanna feel it, keep it out the whole time. You're gonna feel it either way, right? Steering wheel, 10 seconds like this. Pull those elbows back. Yes, you can. Three, two, one. Hold it right here. Little heel lift, little heel lift. As you drive the car, looks like this. Turn, turn. So we're getting the core, we're getting the arms and shoulders, we're getting those legs. If you need to bring it in in between, you can. Heel lift, bring it in. Heel lift, bring it in. I know it's burning, but you can do it. 10 seconds to go. Think about that core, squeezing those inner thighs. Three, two, one. Set it down right here. Whoo, pull it forward. All right, 30 second breather. I'll give you some cardio mobility right here. Right, so you tap it out through those inners, tap it back. All right, we're gonna keep the upper body working. We'll give the legs a break. You keep it here, watch me. We've got 30 seconds of a bicep curl, one side. I'm gonna give you some options to add a little bit of balance and core. 30 seconds of a press, 30 seconds putting them together. Grab with that one weight, zip up the core, ready, here we go. So bring it up and bring it down. You can have this hand out if you want. Core zip, check in with your shoulders. Make sure that one side is not bringing you down, right? If you wanna add a little extra core, you can tap that knee up and down little march or you can keep it up yeah right all the way through that core Whew, again making sure it's not pulling you your goal is to resist that flexion right all right keep it here same side we're going up bring it in take it up bring it in we've got shoulders and core now again anytime we're working one side you're gonna feel that core it's offset right so you have to counteract that movement, that weight on the one side. If you want, add the knee, breathe, or hold it up. Yes, push into that stationary leg, pull into the core as you press. Three, two, last 30, let's put them together. So curl, press, are you feeling that arm? I know I am. Curl, press, if you want, knee, knee, whoo or keep it up the whole time. Yes, you can. 10 seconds, we're really isolating that upper body, right? And also that core. We're gonna get the other side in five, four, three, two, finish it out and breathe. Tap it right here, tap it forward. Again, cardio mobility, tap, tap. You got about 30 seconds to breathe. We're gonna get it on the other side, so same thing. Just your bicep curl, with or without the knee for balance and core. Just your shoulder press, and then putting them together. All of that with the optional knee. Again, optional being the operative word. You know what I say, be where you are today. Grab that weight, ready, curl it here. So I like to have this opposite hand out just to keep my shoulders straight, making sure again that the weight's not pulling me this way or this way, up to you. Again, you can add the knee. Coming up and down, feel that core, right? Or keep it up the entire time. Yes, totally optional. If that's not right for where you are today, you do you. This is your workout. We want it to work for you. Here we go. Take it press. So I'm bringing it in. You can take it to a hammer press straight up right here. That's what I'm gonna do when we put them together. So I'm giving you that option. Wrap it in so you get that chest and then you take it out, you get a lot of shoulders, right? Shoulders and core working the entire time. Knee can come up in between or hold it up. 10 seconds right here. And then we put them together, right? Woo. Yes, you can. Here we go together. Curl, press in. How often do we isolate one side of a bicep curl? Sometimes we do it with press if we're doing a compound movement but not often with the biceps and not often for 90 seconds straight, right? Whoo, 
keep it up if you can. 10 seconds. And then we're putting it all together to finish out this round with 45 seconds. You're gonna like it. Last one, three, two, one. Woo, breathe, set it down, tap it forward one last time. All right, team, so here's what you got. I really want you to think about pushing those thumbs to the back so you really stretch out the shoulders and the biceps. All right, so here we go. We got 45 seconds on one side, 45 seconds on the other. You keep tapping out, watch me. I'm gonna go all the way down. If you can get low in the plie, curl, press. Take it down, curl, press. I would love for you to get low, grab that weight. You got 45 seconds in three, two, one. Here we go, drop it down, curl, press. You're getting low to high. So full compound movement. You are gonna have to drop the chest a little bit so we get a little bit of an extra hinge, right? but keep that core working. What I don't want you to do, you know it, is round right here. Keep that back flat. Nice and strong. You can always pick if you wanna just do half of this, if you wanna just do the legs, just do the arms, or take one part out, up to you. 10 seconds. Breathe, five, four, three, two, one, yes, catch your breath team. All right, 15 seconds to breathe, all of that on the other side. So same thing, this, the goal of this round is get that heart rate up and finish out putting everything that we just did together, shoulders, biceps, legs, core. Here we go, down, up, up. Arm can be out. Try to get low and use the power of the legs. Right, down. Up, no steering wheel on this. We got enough there, right? We just wanted to add a little dynamic movement to that first movement. Up, up. As you get tired, walk, watch that chest. Here, here. Yes! All the way through, finish it out. You got water coming. Whew. Breathe. Three, two, one, and relax, quick sip of water team. Set that weight to the side, shake it out, yes. You can, yes you did. All right team, so this time take it a little curtsy. Still with the thumbs to the back, tapping behind instead. All right, so if you want more mobility, you just take it nice and slow. If you want more cardio, take it here. While you're doing that, Watch me for your next round. I'm gonna switch to my kettlebell for half of it, but I'm gonna have my dumbbell close by. Reason being, the beginning, we have a long lunge sequence. Your legs are gonna love it. Your glutes are gonna love it. We're gonna do a lunge with a touchdown. I would love for you, think of it like that forward leaning lunge, not a hinge. We're still driving that back knee, but touching it down right through here, right? Then we're gonna add a little handoff. Then we'll add a little curtsy with the handoff. It's gonna be a lot of balance and a lot of core. Go ahead and grab that weight. We're gonna get one side and then the other. I promise we'll get some mobility in between. Step out in those train tracks. Remember, if you need to modify, you can tap it back, not get as low. But if you can, stationary lunge or switch, split squat. Here we go, 30 seconds, touch it down. Bring it up. So it is a little hinge, right? Watch my shoulders. I'm still keeping it back. I'm still dropping both knees, right? It's not a hinge like a deadlift like we do from here with a straight leg. It's a forward leaning low lunge. We're here and up. 10 seconds, then we're adding that handoff. Warning, it is going to put you off balance. That's intentional. So be prepared, push through that heel. Down, hand it off, hand it off, drive it up. Get low, hand off, hand off, and up, yes! You can, and breathe. Really drive into that front heel. If that balance is too much, you just go back to what you did in round one, right? If you're looking to take it up even more, last 30 seconds, let's add a curtsy. Curtsy, here, and up. Here we go, last 30. Burn in those legs and glutes, but really drive up the heel. Get low, chest, is open, shoulders back. Yes, I know, I feel it too. Whoo, 
There we go. 10 seconds. Your glutes are gonna love you tomorrow. You're gonna feel it. Last one right here. Down, cross, and breathe. <laughs> Weight out of the way. Here's your cardio mobility. Little stretch. Flex that foot, big arms, right? Whoo! Yes. Let's get the same thing on the other side. So there's that heart rate, right? We already got that cardio. Same thing, other side. Shake out those legs. Now you know what to expect. You keep moving. You're getting low. You're trying to touch down if you can. You're gonna add the handoff. It is gonna throw your balance. You should feel off balance. Grab that weight. Then we add the curtsy. Let's get it done. Three, two, one. Drop it low, touch, and up. You're leaning forward, forward leaning lunge, right? Down and up, watching that back, right? What we're not doing is here. Keep that chest open, keep that straight line here. Even though you're going forward, we're not rounding in that lower spine. And breathe, get set up and get ready to hand it off right here, if it's right for you. Hand it off, hand it off, bring it up. Lots of core, right? So a lot of what we're doing in this whole workout is playing with our balance, right? We did a lot of this in our absolution challenge where it's sneaky core. Everything has to work harder. Woo! Breathe. Make sure you're still getting low, leaning into it. Let's add that curtsy right here. Down, curtsy as you hand it off all the way up. Down, hand off and curtsy, or make them two separate parts. It's up to you, you do you. If it's a little different for you, that's okay. Down, if you're taking part of it out, that's okay too. Breathe, and up, ah! Five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> I know. All right, and legs, stretch it out right here. All right, guys, so I'm switching back to my dumbbell for this. You stay here. Woo! Here is what we got, team. Super simple compared to that. We're gonna keep our core working and our arms working, but we're keeping it nice and tight. Elbows wide. We're going all to one side for 30. Other side for 30. Alternating for 30. Grab that dumbbell or kettlebell in the center. Core zipped. Right side. Here we go. Cross and up. I really want you to think about trying to get elbow to knee, right? Not just here, right? Really take that upper body, that crunch, and get those obliques. Also pushing into the weight, whatever you got, dumbbell or kettlebell, to keep that upper body working. But it's a lot of lower and core on this. Breathe. Three, two, one. Set up, other side, cross, and back. Cross, breathe. This leg is working just by being stationary, right? Cross it, and back. All the way through. Should keep your heart rate up. As you get tired, if you need to, drop that weight. I'd rather you keep that chest open in good form than be hunching over because the weight is pulling you down. Five more seconds together, all on one side. Then let's alternate. Three, two, one. So right and center, left, controlled. If you're feeling it, drop it in a squat, just like we did in that warm up. right? Toes forward. We got a lot of plie now, let's keep those toes forward. Up to you. It's optional. Yes, you can. Keep those elbows wide. Cross for core. Low in the legs. We got some arms too. Three, two, one. And relax. All right, team, so shake it out. Whew. You can just go here to here, right? Here's what we got. 45 seconds, two rounds. Watch me putting it all together. Yes, you can. Low forward leaning lunge, twisted here, twisted here. So you drop low in the lunge and twist, you bring the knee up and twist. If that feels like too much, you just pick one or you do a lunge. Grab it right here, we got 45 seconds. Train tracks, ready, here we go. Lunge and twist, knee and twist, lunge. It's a lot of balance and it's opposite sides with your balance, right? So really pull on that center core, zip it up. Keep the elbows wide, chest open. 
drive up through the heel. Your leg is keeping you stable and that center. Breathe down and up. I know it's a lot for your brain to think about, but your core is working hard. Trust me, this always makes my core sore in weird ways. Tomorrow you're gonna be like, why are my abs sore? Deep in that deep core, right? And it's things like this. We got three, two, one. Shake it out right here, ha. Let's get same thing other side. You got it, 45 seconds. Low in that front lunge, drive up through the heel. Cross it over, cross it over. You don't have to actually get elbow to knee, just try for it. Here we go. Low lunge, knee across. Low lunge. And I'm stepping back into it, but you also can go here, tap it in, tap it in. Low, if that gives you a little more balance, that works too. And breathe. And here, right down. <laughs> Anytime I try to do a diagonal on this side for some reason, it really throws me off balance. Let's get it done. 15 seconds. Yes, you can. I know, I'm feeling it too. Lots of heart rate. Everything in the body working to stabilize. Three, two, one. Yes, catch your breath. Set that weight down. Ha, shake it out right here. So big arms, stretch it out. Woo, get in my ceiling, right? Take it here. I want you to go big circle of the arms and big stretch with the foot. So we get hamstrings and glutes. You can also grab a sip of water while we're doing that. We got one more thing up top, guys, and then we are taking it down to the mat. All right, let's get our back working. Again, I'm gonna start with the kettlebell, but you can use kettlebell or dumbbell. When we add on, we're gonna go with dumbbell, all right? So have it close by. Watch me here while you're still tapping it out or rolling those arms. We're gonna start in that hinge position. We're gonna take it to a row. We're gonna add a little row coming up, right? Then we're gonna come up. We're gonna step it back, step it in. Come up, step it back, step it in. That third round, if that's not right for you, you stay up top. We're just adding a little core. So go ahead and stagger it. I know it looks like those lunges. Your body's going, wait, what? But I just want you to hinge. Take it with the back. Three, two, one. Up and down. Join me here, flat back. 30 seconds, all in the back. So I want you to go something heavy if you can. We're staggered here. Squeeze in that shoulder blade, pull that elbow in. Weight comes towards your rib cage and hip. Let it drop. If you want, on the kettlebell, you can drop it down in between or keep it there. Yes, you can. I know, we're gonna get our back and core working just by being in this position. If you want, add a little leg lift, drop it down. Leg lift. Drop it down. So it's a hinge position, right? Whoo! Breathe and up. Yes, you can. I know the legs and back are working hard, especially after that last round. So if you need to come up in between, go for it. Otherwise, keep it moving. Leg lift, flat row. Whoo! Front leg, right? That's where you're feeling it. Think about that back. Watch me here. Here's your add on all the way up. Drop it back, drop it in, all the way up. Drop it back, drop it in. You can also do this without the leg lift. Core, and in, up, back. If that doesn't feel good for you, you just keep that row, we are almost there. You pick your pleasure, you pick your pain. In three, two, one, and relax. Right, whoo, breathe. Let's do little hamstring scoops. I know, it kind of feels like our glutes and hamstrings are getting a lot of work today, right? So take it here, cardio mobility, bring that toe up. Who's feeling their core? I know I am. All right, so same thing over here. You can keep scooping, flat back, then we add a little leg lift. If you need to come up in between, get that little back stretch. Then we pop it back, let's get it done. Three sets of 30, here we go. Bring it up, just your back. Right, squeeze. If it's better for you to be here, that works too. If you can keep that core pulled in, remember weight towards your rib cage, towards that hip. Pull that shoulder blade in without rotating, squeezing in the back. Whew. 
and breathe. Bring it up. Yes, you can. Lots of back and shoulders. As you're ready, extend that leg out. Lift it. Here we go. Squeeze and up. Squeeze and up. If you want to come up in between, add your back. If you need a little balance, grab onto the wall. Hinge, lift, and up. We're here. Yes, squeeze all the way through. I know, we're feeling it all through that back. Focus on that core. You're gonna take it down in five seconds or just keep the row. Three, two, one. Everything up. Step it back one leg. Step it in. Row with or without that leg. Step it back. Step it in. If that's not right for you, you just stay up top. That works. Flat back, strong row. Woo! Yes. All the way through. I know I'm feeling it too, but I'm not gonna quit. I'm gonna keep it moving. Adjust as you need to for you to keep good form, whatever it is. Three, two, one, stretch. I know, right? Ah, woo. Hamstring scoops. Yes, team. All right, we're gonna bring it down to the mat. No weight on this one. Bring it down low with me. We're coming into a plank, high plank. You can go on your knees. You can take it cat cow to down dog or plank to down dog, but join me right here. We're pressing it up. We're taking it center. If you can, I want you to think about that lift coming from the center. Tilt the pelvis. Imagine somebody's pulling a string up your belly button, up towards the ceiling. Another option right here, of course, cat cow. You can still press up to down dog, yes. Cat cow. If you need to rest those knees. All right, let's add on right here. Here we go. Down dog. Rotate, side plank, down dog, rotate. You can be on your knees, cat cow, rotate. I know we're gonna be here a long time. Not long, but longer than normal, so do what's best for you. If you can keep it moving, rotate. Yes, take it up, rotate, press it up. Guess what, team? Drop it down. I want child's pose. Elbows, pop it back. I know we switched it up completely to give you a little stretch. Hold here for a couple counts. Drop the knees. Stretch it back, child's pose. If that's not right for you, just take it here. Stretch it back, child's pose. Take it here. 10 seconds. Back to here. Three, two, one, and relax. Slowly bring it up. Yes, team. Woo! What do we got here? Ha! How do we put these together? I don't know. You tell me. Let's do this. Here's what we got, team. I want you to grab maybe one dumbbell. This might be a better option for you. So, you can keep it with the row, and you can keep it up top, come up in between, or we're gonna go plank row, one side, touch it down. Plank row, one side, touch it down. We'll get 45 seconds. We'll switch in between, let's get it done. Three, two, one, here we go. Plank row, touch the toe or touch the knee. Row, slow and controlled. You can also do knees. You can also be here, up and tap, or up and tap. Strong core either way. If that's not right for you, you just stay on those knees. Keep that back working hard. Yes, we wanna focus on the row. Three, two, one, and relax. Stretch it back. So roll through those wrists. Bring it up right here. I'm gonna turn sides, but you don't have to, but switch your sides. Again, if your wrists are just not feeling it, I want you to take it to all fours. Let's get it done. Ready, here we go. Right here, take it up. And down, oh no that's not right, right? Here, and tap. I think I cut us a little short on that, did I? Whew. 
that's all right. We're still getting it done. We're gonna get 45 seconds on this side. Tap, if you can't get to that toe, just take it to the knee. Just get a little pike with that core and a little back stretch. Up and down. Whew. Breathe and down. Five, four, three, two, one. Stretch it back, yes, team. Oh, bring it up right here, I know. Woo, shake it out. Ha, before we take it down for that last round, how about we get a little swing? Swing is already a single weight move. You can hand it off or you can keep it single. Together, one dumbbell or one kettlebell. Take it up or take it up, hand it off. I'm gonna start dumbbell. We'll get one more round, we'll take a kettlebell, but it's up to you. Only 30 seconds, zip up that core, hinge it. Start with two, three, two, prep it. Here we go. Surely I could have gone heavier, but I'm gonna switch it off, switch it. To me, the dumbbell's a little harder to switch off. If the handoff is not right for you, you just keep two hands. You do you, Whew. breathe. Yes. You can always just keep it one right here, right? Drive it up, lock it out. Press into those heels. Five, four, three, two, and relax. Take it here, pedal those feet. Ha, ah, yes, shake it out. All right, team, let's go down to the mat. Let's finish it out right here. I know, ha. Ah. I'm gonna adjust my fan, as you know I do, so I can get some airflow on me. Down on your back, dumbbell or kettlebell. It doesn't matter, I want you to watch me while you're getting into this position. Relax that upper body. Here's what we got. We're taking it up and down. So if you can have this other side up to keep that core working, we're gonna start with the press. We'll add the leg. If you need to keep it low, there's your modification or a bridge. Then we're gonna add the leg, tricep diagonal. So it looks like this here, up and down. If that feels too weird for you, you just keep the press. Go ahead and join me here. Three, two, one. Your first one is just a single arm press, right? Think about that core. You can be in tabletop here, or if you need to add the bridge, if you want to add the bridge, you can squeeze in the glutes. I think our glutes and hamstrings got a lot of work today. So if you'd rather have core, take them here. If you're not feeling them, push them out away from your body. Yes, you can. Whoo, breathe. We're gonna extend that opposite leg out and we're adding it together right here. Here we go, 30 seconds. If you want a little extra, you can lift up in the crunch, if that is good for you. If you feel too much in your neck, I want you to keep it down. If you need to modify, keep that opposite leg down and just get the raise. But if you can, you're right here. Yes, core and upper. I know those, ha, everything's feeling it, at least if you're me. Whew. All right, watch me one time if you need to. Up, it's a diagonal triceps. And down, press, take the triceps across. I'm meeting it with my opposite hand. For me, that is a little safety, but if you need it, if you've got something heavier, use that for a little push, right? Take it up triceps it's going across your body right here you can take the core out if you want up and down last one Woo! and relax all right team roll over onto your side while we stretch that out let's get a bit of cardio mobility for our upper and a little obliques right here watch me lift and lower right through here take it up and down, take it up. I want you to stretch out that arm, right? While we lift in obliques, sneaky core, right? Lift and lower. We are so close to the end. We're up. Yes, one more. And relax, go ahead and get set up. All right, you know the drill, watch me one time. 
chest press. You can do the bridge if you want. You can keep the core working. Then we're got that leg coming up. Then we add diagonal triceps. Use that hand to protect your face and use that hand for a uh, spotter if you need to. Here we go, 30 seconds, press and down. I don't want you to think just about a chest press, right? Or, or a bench press, which is getting triceps, chest, shoulders, all through the upper. I want you to really engage in that core. If you're adding the bridge, you're still tilting that pelvis, everything pulling in, right? Up through here. Yes. Or here with that core, everything pulled in, tilt that pelvis, extend that leg. Here we go. Everything up, slowly down. Take it up, slowly down. If you want the little crunch, if that's good for you, go for it. But if you feel like you're pulling your neck, then take that one out. All right, up and down. Yes, you keep going. I gotta adjust my microphone. Five, four, let's add the triceps right here. Here we go, chest press, triceps up and down. That opposite hand, remember you're meeting the weight and you're pushing it up or you're just spotting it. Whoo, cause we're going across with the triceps, core and upper. I know, yes you can, up and down, up. Five seconds, three, two, one. <laughs> Stretch it out, woo! All right, let's get that opposite hand, a little sneaky core, a little mobility for that chest and shoulder. Bring it on the side, ready, here we go. Bring it up, drop it down. You can also be on that knee. I want you to think about the mobility through that arm that's tired. This is it, team, take it down. Take it up and down, reach. Two more. Yes. All right, team, up onto your feet as promised. One more swing. You can do dumbbell, you can do kettlebell, you can hand it off or you can do it together. It is still a single weight move. Let's finish it out strong. We got a lot of legs, glutes, hamstrings, in the first half of this workout, we got a lot of upper body in the second. We got a lot of core throughout. Let's finish with 30 seconds right here. So modification is you can just get the hinge, the deadlift. Otherwise, two-handed swing or hand it off, whatever is good for you, you do you. 30 seconds, this is it. Zip up that core, three, two, one. Bring it up, press into those feet, into your heels. You're powering it up. You're locking out of the top. Then you're letting it drop. Right here, if you wanna hand it off, you hand off at the top. Sometimes you can go heavier with two hands. Sometimes it feels awkward handing it off. So do what's best for you. You got five, four, three, two, one. Swing and relax. Yes, so hold it here. Hands can be on the kettlebell or dumbbell or on your legs, whatever is good for you. I just want you to relax into that. Really stretch through the hamstrings, pedal the feet. I know, I feel it too. Whoo, yeah, right. Uh, bring it up, standing cat cow right through here. Roll through, round it up. That was not easy. But you did it. It was not easy for me either. I know a lot of single sided and then compounds. It was a brain workout too, right? Roll those shoulders one at a time. I hope you got enough mobility. I hope you felt that core. I hope you felt successful because you showed up today. So you are successful. It doesn't matter what it looks like or what it felt like. As long as you were here and you were moving, you are succeeding and I am so Proud of you for being here today. Let's take it across, stretch that shoulder, roll through that wrist. Make sure you check out all the links in the description below. Would love to have you join us in the BodyFit Athletic Club if you can. That is where you get more personal, direct support from me, from our BodyFit dietitian. We can help you in your personal journey. Make sure that you are also signed up for my email list so you get your free weekly and monthly workout calendars with the links. You'll get the links early 
and make sure that you follow me at Body Fit by Amy so you don't miss a beat. And you subscribe to this channel. When you subscribe, that helps me keep making these free workouts for you. So hit that subscribe button, turn on the notifications, that little bell, so you always know when something new is coming out, when live workouts, new challenges. And of course, like this video. Let me know in the comments what you thought. Are you as tired and sweaty as me? I hope so. Single, weight, sweat, whoo, breathe. Maybe your brain is a little tired. That's all part of the magic, right? Thank you for being here. Leave me a comment, hit that subscribe button. Get some more stretching on your own if you can. Let's get one big deep breath in and out. You did it. That was your single weight sweat workout. Great job, everybody.